Hey guys, Chef Jason, Ray's Hardware Grilling Expert. Today's video, we're gonna talk about what to do when your Traeger won't heat up. That's right, you hit the start button, not heating up. What do you do? Today we're gonna talk about three things that I look for that definitely make sure this uh, heats up and gets you cooking. Okay, as you can see here, I have pellets, right? Now, these are both Ace Reserve pellets. These are nice and fresh, so look at that darker color in them. You can also see some of that shine as well. These pellets are fresh. They have a one-year shelf life, and we know that these are fresh because look at this. On this side, we have pellets that are not fresh, and as you see, they have changed color. There is a lot of sawdust in here because these pellets are starting to get rough and unwind. Definitely the first thing I like to check for is my pellets because I wanna make sure that they're fresh, that they're within a year or less, but then also guess what? Those potentially have been affected by moisture. That's what's causing them to unwind and get some of that sawdust in here. On this side here, no sawdust. We just have those fresh, beautiful pellets. So first thing, most important thing, you have to check your fuel because that gives you the fire. New versus old. If you look down in the prior generation fire pots, you'll see those holes that are in there and some of them are blocked because we have a buildup of ash. And you can see if we move that around, now that hole is wide open. But if we take our tongs and put our tongs in there, you'll see that we start to break some of that ash up. And again, we want the trigger to breathe because the more it can breathe, the better the fire is. And now take a look at what's in there. See that you get that crusty kind of ash buildup? That definitely prevents your trigger from heating up properly. Now we need to get in and clean that fire pot out to expose the hot rod because if you can't see the hot rod, chances are we don't know if it's working. But now if you look down in there, you will see that that's clean. But there you go. There's the hot rod. Now that it's exposed, time to check that and make sure it works. The second thing we're gonna wanna check is cleanliness. How clean is the inside of our Traeger? Here we are at the new Traeger Ironwood, which is going to be that generation two Traeger that has a different fire pot. Now, look at this. I wanna make sure that I've got everything clean. I also have some stuff starting to collect just a little bit in the fire pot. So I definitely, definitely uh, need to give this a clean to make sure that this breathes easier because the easier it can breathe, the uh, hotter the fire is going to get on that as well. The third thing you're gonna to wanna to check is the hot rod. And with these newer Traegers, the generation two Traegers, uh, you're gonna be able to get down in and see that hot rod. So we wanna make sure nothing is stuck to the hot rod or covering the hot rod, maybe ash or anything like that. So I'm gonna hop down there and give that guy a clean real quick. And then after you clean it, it is time to give it a test again to see if that heats up. If it doesn't, it's time to uh, have that hot rod checked out by your local Ace Hardware because uh, those barbecue experts will help get you in touch with Traeger if needed. We'll get you back on the road to cooking. Okay, so we checked the pellets. Those were good. We checked the hot rod. That was good. Now it's time to clean it. That's right. We figured out it is time to give our Traeger a good solid deep clean. Now stay tuned because coming up next, that's right, I have that video coming up. It's the best video. It shows you how to clean it, like vacuum it out. Oh, it's amazing.